down here in Texas, we have a lot of deer. And in order to have better range conditions, you need to take animals off of your land. It's just whole, part of the whole management strategy. And the benefit of having a suppressor for that is you're going to do a lot of shooting. And if you're going to do a lot of shooting, you're going to condition those deer. And when you lessen that signature from a rifle going off, you're less apt to do that. The American public, you know, it's, it's now just getting out that they're legal, so you know, there's more interest in, in using suppressors. Many people ask me, I, I thought these were illegal, and they've, they've never been illegal. You just have to go through a couple more steps to, to own one. Suppressors are mainstream. I mean, you don't have to have a military background to own one or any kind of tactical background. A lot of people think that's what they're for, and they're not. They're for, for shooter enjoyment. I'm going to probably shoot about, I don't know, I've got it set for 200 yards zero. Just like with any hunt, when you show up, uh, most outfitters are gonna, and guides are going to ask to see if you can shoot and see if you're zeroed in, usually at 100 yards. We screwed on our suppressors and shot. And the guides that were standing around, they all had their their fingers in their ears, and, and we shot, and they took their fingers out, and they kind of looked at each other and said, do that again. When these guys showed up, I, I kind of knew what was, what was going on. Seeing what these suppressors do, uh, from my standpoint, hearing protection, this changes the playing field right here. It was good to see those guys turn on and say, and now all of a sudden they're like, yeah, I, I want one now. You can just see the light come on. They can automatically think of the application that they could use that for, and that's, that's, that's why we do all this. A lot of people ask, how does it work? I mean, we know it works like a muffler on a car, but, but how? It is controlling an explosion. When you torch off a, a rifle round or a pistol round, you're creating an explosion inside of a chamber, and that gas has to escape somewhere. So when it escapes, it's going down the barrel, and when it hits open space where it can free itself, it's causing a very loud concussion right there at the barrel. The suppressor and those baffles allow that explosion kind of to ping around inside and those gases to control that gas expansion. So when it's coming out, all you're getting is you're getting a little bit of flash, maybe you, like we call it first round pop. So on your, on your first round, you'll get a little bit of a flash and you have that gas built up. Now the gas is built up and it's pushed all the air out. So that's where you're gonna get that first round pop is when all that air escapes out of the can. So on your follow-up shots, the sound level is going to decrease a few decibels. 